Hello mga boss! So bumili tayo ng pagkamahal-mahal na upgrade para sa ating motovlog. Ito yun. So is this upgrade worth the cost? Malalaman natin yan. So let's test it out. Boss, this is Boss CL again, Ooh. and welcome back to another episode of Boss CL's DIYs, Upgrades, Reviews, and First Impressions. Today, I'm doing this video to test my new acquired motor vlogging microphone, which is a purple panda. Ito yun. Hello mga boss, this is Boss CL again. Recently, we bought ourselves a new mic, so we got this purple panda from Outer Grind PH. So shout out to Boss Jimmy of Outer Grind PH. Napakabait na tao and napakadali yung ka-deal with. Anyways, Purple Panda is a high-end lavalier microphone. Comparable in quality with Rode microphones and usually they are only available in the US. So in order pa talaga siya overseas. So these are what you will be getting from the box itself. So the moment you open the box, what you will be getting is this manual. Um, user guide and support for the mic itself then everything else is uh, stored inside this velvet pouch bag here so the pouch bag would contain everything in here so ang unang unang makikita natin is the mic itself the lavalier mic and one of the things that you would see immediately is the end of this mic has a three line so meaning this is for smartphone however it comes with this trrs to trs um, adapter so you could actually use it in a camera so if you would use it with your gopro you have to in to insert the end of the mic to this adapter and this is the one you would be attaching to your GoPro okay now it also comes with this extension cable also with a TRRS at the end so you would definitely have to use this adapter whenever you want to use it for the GoPro now aside from that it comes with an extra alligator clip and it also comes with a dead cat so if we want to place it or set it up in our helmet we definitely have to use this although the mic itself already contains the foam it is a good practice to install the dead cat on top of the microphone to eliminate any wind noise if ever as much as possible now it also comes with this um, mini usb adapter i think this is for hero 4 hero 3 and hero 4 but i'm not really too sure whether the female jack in here is for trrs or trs but nevertheless if we would be using this to set up for our helmet mount camera we definitely have to use this um, trrs to trs adapter whenever we would be using the microphone all right you can buy Purple Panda sa memory.ph but in my case, kay Outdoor Grind PH ko siya binili. It is not always in stock kaya talagang aabangan mo magkaroon ng availability. Medyo costly lang talaga siya at around 3,000 pesos kaya makapaisip ka talaga kung worth it ba talaga bumili nito. In my case, it took me about a year to be convinced na kailangan ko na talaga siya mag upgrade. Kasi I have been using this Boya LM20 lavalier mic sa motovlog ni setup ko. It works just fine. Normally, kasi sa style ng motovlog ko, I usually do my talking on slow speed. Tapos, karamihan pa ng mga mabibilis na ride ko, eh parang montage na lang. In those scenarios, audio is still crisp and very audible. So, at that time, I felt I didn't need the necessity to upgrade. But then, ever since we are taking the expressways lately with the acquisition of our Duke 390, doon na natin napapansin na seems like may problema si Boya LM20 sa high speed. Never mind the wind noise, laging meron yan eh. Ang 
Ang mas nakakairita kasi is the popcorn or the static sound na lagi mo marilinig. Tapos parang sabog lagi yung voice recordings. So first time to be As you know, and as I have explained before, sa motovlogging kasi, malaking bagay yung quality ng audio as it somehow makes the whole vlog itself worthless with bad audio. The tendency is your viewers would stop uh, watching your video the moment they find the audio very bad. So, kailangan talaga maganda yung audio. Now, for this particular testing, I have both Boya and Purple Panda mic installed sa helmet natin. So, let's test it out. Testing audio quality of Purple Panda and Boya LM20. 100 km per hour. How does the audio sound? How does the audio sound right now? Testing one to three. Testing the audio quality right now. How does the audio sound? So yun mga boss, after doing some test, can we now say that Purple Panda is a worthy upgrade for the cost? Remember, Purple Panda is a bit expensive at 3,000 pesos. So is it worth the 3,000 peso upgrade? Well, to be honest, it's too early to say uh, since we only tested it for a very short time. We can only say that it is really a good upgrade once we use it extensively in expressways on high speeds. But for now, um, what we could probably say is that definitely we could see some improvements to the audio quality. But is this a big difference as compared to the Boya LM20? Uh, that we still have to find out. The Boya LM20 microphone is still a good microphone to use. The only problem it has is on high speeds. So will I recommend this expensive microphone for your motorola needs? Well, I will reserve my opinions for now. If your motovlogging doesn't really require high speeds often, then you could probably uh, make do with the BM LM20. It is a very good microphone, provided that you use it appropriately. Meaning, if your vlogging style doesn't really require high speeds uh, that often, then you can do without the Purple Panda. So you can save yourself some bit of money in the process. Uh, but if you have money to spare and have the capability to buy this expensive mic, then by all means buy this mic. But then again, it's all up to you. So yung mga boss yung down for today, hope you get some information from this video and help you decide on what to use for your motovlog. Alright? If you like this video, please do like and share. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel for LPH and click that notification bell to be notified of any new uploads that we have. Alright? So that's all for now. I'll end the vlog here. As I always say, stay awesome, stay safe. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.